recently compared South Vietnam's president II to George Washington, and there is a comparison. One of them threw a dollar across the Potomac, and the other threw a billion dollars down the drain. <laughs> Do you think the women's liberation movement should have started with burning their bras? Definitely. I think it could lead to bigger things. <laughs> the police scandal in New York is so bad, I heard Maya Lindsay may have to institute a wage bribe freeze. <laughs> You know, the real reason they put John Connolly in charge of phase two of the economic plan, simply because if it doesn't work, they can always blame it on a Democrat. <laughs> I gave my wife a uh, fake fur, and I told her, pretend it's real. She said, all right, tonight, when you go to bed, pretend I'm with you. Inflation has gotten so bad that I had to save up for three weeks just to go window shopping. Oh, I live in an apartment building that really has some swingers. The girl down the hall just flunked her driving test yesterday. As soon as the car stalled, she jumped in the back seat. Oh, when President Nixon nominates someone to the Supreme Court, there's one very important thing he must consider. Who to nominate after that? <laughs> well, those automobile repair places are really something. I went to one yesterday and my car was held up for an hour and a half and I was held up for $60. <laughs> you know, I know one senator who's been in his chair every single day for the past four years. Well, that's dedication. No, that's old age. Oh. <laughs>